Predators need to capture prey to survive. To do this, they develop specialized tools such as the fangs of a viper or the claws of an eagle. In the open ocean, some of the most abundant predators are jellyfish, which you might recognize when you visit the beach. Jellyfish capture small animals in the water called zooplankton using their tentacles, which carry special cells with stinging capsules called nematocysts. These microscopic harpoons shoot a fine tube that can penetrate the skin of their prey, injecting toxins that paralyze it. When they brush up against an unfortunate human, it causes the well-known jellyfish sting rash. Some jellyfish have taken nematocysts to the next level. Siphonophores form long chains of conjoined specialized bodies that work together as a single animal. Their tentacles carry different types of nematocysts packed into batteries. These batteries are loaded in the side branches of the tentacles called tentilla. Just like the ammunition of a combat plane, tentilla bear a few rocket caliber armor-piercing nematocysts and a belt of hundreds of small bullet caliber nematocysts. When a small animal like this crustacean becomes entangled in the adhesive terminal filament, things start getting wild. The nematocyst battery rapidly unwinds and slings forward, wrapping around the prey as hundreds of nematocysts fire on it. As soon as the capture happens, the siphonophore reels up the tentacle, bringing the paralyzed prey towards the mouth. Tentilla come in many different shapes and sizes across a diversity of siphonophore species, with different nematocysts adapted to capturing different prey. Some are specialized for capturing fish, others to capture crustaceans. However, for many of these elusive and understudied animals, it is unknown what prey type their intriguing tentilla designs are targeting. I'm Alejandro Damien Serrano, and this is CreatureCast.